Hey everyone, Chivos here, bring you another Football Manager 2017 video, Melbourne Victory FC Episode 5, two games today, now I've promised two games last episode, I didn't bring it, we've got it today, now trust me, let's see what's been happening, firstly, we'll bring you to the transfers. We go straight into the transfers, and as you can see, we have one out, it is Josh Cavallo, but um... To note, he came back in. Yeah, I'll explain that in a second. So we've brought in three players. The first is Declan Lambert, a young homegrown player. A little bit of potential. We'll see if anything becomes of him. The next, Josh Cavallo. What happened? We released him. You know, he didn't make the squad. Uh, what happens in the A-League is if the players don't meet the 23-man squad and they're on a professional contract they automatically get terminated from the club. So, for example, Maxi Byster was worried about his wage. He's gone. Finished. Done. No more wages for Maxi Byster. The wages are looking good. Now, Josh Cavallo was on a professional contract. I let him go. I've brought him back on a youth contract, and it's working out. Fantastic. We've kept him at the club. And finally, Jaden Prasad. We've brought in from the Brisbane Raw NPL side, Potential to be a very good centre-back. So we'll see what becomes of him as well. Talking scouting just quickly, I want to show you the budget here. We've got 7.72k in the transfer kitty. It's not much, but we don't need anything here. We have 9.86k available in the wage budget. But we have a salary cap of 6.5k, so we can't even use it. But 6.5k in the salary cap means next year we know what we're working with. Talking about what we're working with, this is it. So the first game of the season you saw was a 3-1 loss to Brisbane Raw FC. Not the best result, but we have had a bit of a turnaround. So the first game we played against Melbourne City, we beat them. We didn't beat them. We drew 1-1. We almost beat them. Bruno Fornaroli late, late on 85th minute equaliser. It's a shame. Now, the second game, Adelaide United, we drew 1-1 again. Lee Broxham scoring our equaliser because Sirio scored in the third minute. Now, I want to show you something here. We've beaten Wellington Phoenix 4-1. Costa Barbarus is scoring against his old club. It's a shame, but it happens. Bez scoring to Rojas and Broxham on the score sheet as well. Now, the thing I want to show you about this game is the fact that Wellington Phoenix had 20 shots, 11 on target. And possession was quite even, yet we managed to score four goals with seven shots on target. That means we are quite good at uh, at finding the back of the net. We're good at our accuracy. That was a terrible sentence, but it makes sense. Now, today we go to the team selection. How are we going to line up? This is it. I've already planned it. So, Borussia starts up top. Trio we see. Now, I've thought about dropping in for Mitch Austin. It's not going to happen today purely because I want Trio Wissi to succeed. He's a four-star player. He needs to be playing regularly. Now, Bazani and Rojas are the other two that lead the front four. We have Valeria and Broxham, the two centre midfielders. Gajewski, Ansel, Donaghy, and Jeria are the back four with Thomas in goal. On the bench, we have Bray, Negro, Gligor, Austin, and Mastronunzio. Now, as you can see here, we have Declan Lambert, Mahazi, Kalfella, Denny jean is his name. We have Brandon Lawton, Georgie Howard, and Jai Ingham. So we now have a lot of squad depth. And if you see the youth as well, there is depth there. It's looking good. We have already turned things around. We're only four games into the season. Now, talking about the season, it is the big blue derby. We're playing against Sydney FC today. They are the favourites, and Alex Wilkinson is their key man. Ours is obviously Bessar Brisha. Now, it's a big day. How do we look forward to taking our rivals? I personally always look forward to this one. There's been a real buzz around the, the training ground all week, and now we have a chance to show who the real dominant team in Australia is and how they line up. Bobo, one to watch. He's a fantastic player. As you can see, four and a half star currently. He's, got, he's worth a lot. He's a very good player. We need to be careful of him. You check his history. Uh, not so good, but 
one in every three is something to be careful of. We also have Matty Simon, Ninkovic, Brillante, Dimitrievich, Holosko, Carney, German, Wilkinson, Grant, Yenjetovic, and Bukharim. Okay, there is no Danny Vukovic, which is a huge thing for us. He's out with a broken finger. Yes, 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 boys. Let's get into it. We're going to tell the boys passionately we owe them after the last match. They beat us, if you guys recall, in the FFA Cup. I think it was the semi-final. And today we need to pick up a win. We are playing in the white, the away kit. Let's see if we can have a Melbourne victory today. Here we go, the first highlight of the game. It's a free kick, Sydney's way. It's come off the bar. It's out. It's a corner. Is something going to result from this? I highly doubt it, but here is Carney again. Ball in. Wilkinson. Jerry clears on the line. Now, Tria Wissi. Can he find Brisha? Can we break here, Brisha? You need to beat the defender. He holds up. He does beat the man. Brillante does manage to take, though. Second highlight, straight away. Valeri Tria Wissi on the ball. Tria Wissi. I said he needs to shine. Is this going to be his moment? Oh, almost. Almost. He's hit the bar. Respect the equipment, my son. Rojas, ball in. German clears, Borussia. German clears again. Now, can we beat this? Grant on the line. Gajewski, a fantastic tackle. Can he beat the man? He doesn't have to. He finds Oli Bazanic. Bazanic goes in to Broxham. Nothing doing, though. Another highlight. It's highlight after highlight. We're not even going to have a break here because Broxham, Valeri, bang it, my son. He hasn't. Jeria, someone please present something. Jeria, Triwisi, back post, he scores. And it is his goal. There you go, second goal of the season. That is why we didn't drop him, guys. That is why. He is fantastic. The highlights in here is Jeria. Bazanic on the ball. He goes out to Jeria. It's a nice ball in. And Triwisi leaps at the back post. It's in off the bar. 1 0 to Melbourne victory. Another highlight in the way of Sydney FC, Ninkovic, Dimitrievich, Valeri. Great interception. Here's Rojas. Can we break from this? This could be fantastic. Berisha, I'd love to go 2-0 up before the break. Berisha beats the man. Can he beat the second? He doesn't have to. He shoots from long range. Unfortunately, it's not going in. We have one last chance before the break. If they score here, we do need to be careful. Holosko's on the ball. Bobo, I said he was a threat. You look at the stats... They should not have scored a goal. They've got three shots, three on target. It's worrying. Here's Matty Simon on the ball, though. Here's Holosko. Just first time ball in. What are we doing? Bobo. It's deflected off the defender. And unfortunately, it's 1-1 going into the halftime break. And what are we going to tell the boys? We're going to get aggressive and say, we owe them. Get revenge. It's not good enough. We're not going to make any changes. We're going to go back into the second half. Give the boys a chance and see what unfolds. First highlight of the second half. Dimitrievich on the ball for Sydney FC. Brillante, top of the box. Donaghy, great clearance. Now, Borussia, can he find the run there of Triwisi? He does. Triwisi needs to beat the man. Score this goal, please. Janjevic does come up big, unfortunately for us. I think we're going to have to make a change very shortly. We're 65 minutes through. We are dominating the game. We're just not finding the back of the net. You know, we are shooting, but not enough. Not enough on target. Kajewski's on the ball here. Valeri. Is something going to come from this? It doesn't. So the change is imminent. What are we going to do? Now 6.6 .6 for Bez. We're not going to bring him off though. Bazanic not having the best of games. True Wissy can fill that role. And that's what we're going to do. Bazanic off. Austin going to come on. And True Wissy can stay in that advanced playmaker role. Confirm this change. Let's see if Mitch Austin can come on. He's been... Very good in his substitute performances. I was going to start him ahead of Triwisi, but Triwisi's proved me wrong. He scored a goal. We've got 15 minutes left. Can he grab another? We've got five minutes left on the clock. Time is ticking down. We need some drastic changes. Glygo on for Broxham. Master and Nunzio are going to come on for Bez. Bez not doing his job today. We're going to play the target, man. We're going to confirm these changes. And let's see if anything can come from the last five minutes. Brosk's on the ball. It's hit the post. Cleared by Ansel. Lucky, lucky, lucky. We have not conceded there. And uh, it looks like it's going to be 1-1. One, one. A draw. You know, I'll take a draw. I'd prefer to beat Sydney FC, but a draw is better than a loss. I'll take a point. But where does that see you stand in the table? Because I haven't shown you the table. 
There you go. We sit in fifth. After five games played, we've got one win, three draws and one loss. We're on six points. So we are mid-table. We need to start performing. It's not good enough. Now, James Donaghy got player of the match. He made 33 interceptions. Fantastic. That is why he started the post-match press conference. Let's see what we have to say. I'm disappointed, um, but, you know, it's football. It happens. The next game is how long away. It's not going to tell me. Is it? We've got three players away on international duty, and it's against Western Sydney Wanderers. So if you guys bear with me, I will join you guys for that. So here we are, game day six of the season for us. As you can see, the table is here on the right-hand side. Adelaide United leading the charge, 16 points. We're on six. A win is crucial here today. We play against Western Sydney. They sit in fourth, one point above us, a goal difference of zero. So they could be a little bit leaky. We'll have to see what happens. Now, it looks like they're going to line up with a 4-3-3. Interesting. Cream Bullet, the man to watch here. Five appearances, five goals. It's He's not that good in real life, so it, it's questionable. But he's playing well. We can't question it. The team selection today is a bit of a struggle. As you can see, we have some players on international duty. So what are we going to do? Bez is not going to play. Master Nunzio is. And Bez is going to be dropped for Georgie Howard. Rojas is going to be dropped for the man... We call Jaiingham. That's right, he's going to go straight into the first team. Mitch Austin, spew when he can't get in. And Gajewski is going to be swapped for none other than Stefan Negro. Declan Lambert's away, so Mahazi is going to have to come in here. No defenders on the bench. We can't afford an injury. So this is how we're going to line up. We're going to push Mastronanzio into the target, man. We have Negro on the left. Ansel, Donaghy, and Jeria, they sit ahead of Lawrence Thomas. We have Valeri and Broxham in the center of the pitch again. As you can see, Lee Broxham 7.36 in his last five games. We have Trio, we see a Bazanic and Ingham with the Mastro Nunzio up top on the bench. Bray, Mahazi, Glegor, uh, Austin, and Georgie Howard. Let's get into it. Jai Ingham is lacking match fitness, it doesn't matter. It's Western Sydney Wanderers. We're at home. This is how they line up. They've got Tyson, Clisby, Aspro, Cornthwaite and Neville, Pinatares and Dimas, Lustica, Martinez, their designated player. Decent. We have Karim Bullock and Aristogueta, who is a target man, it seems. We'll see what happens with him on the bench. Mitch Nichols, one to watch. How are we going to uh, apply the team advice? Bullock, tight marking... Lustica, yeah, and Aris, weak of foot. That is fine with me. Let's tell the boys calm. I'm expecting you to win. We'll tell the boys calmly. Um, I want you to give me a shot. No, that hasn't worked. Is there? I think there's a lot more to come from you. There you go. I think there's a lot more to come from these boys. Let's get into it. Western Sydney Wanderers. Can we pick up a win? I really hope so. First highlight of the game. We're five minutes in. It looks like it could be going our way. Here's Broxham Trewissi on this left-hand side. Runs down. The ball's taken off him by Neville. Very dangerous there from Western Sydney. Broxham's on it. Bazanic goes back to Valeri. Broxham, whip it, mate. Someone do something. Broxham, def deflection. Trewissi almost there. And Neville puts it out for a throw-in. Almost. Almost. Here we go. A highlight. Jeria. Broxham. We're dominating. We're 13 minutes through, but we are playing the better half of football so far. Is Broxham. Bazanic. Can we find this cross in? He does. Mastronunzio scores. That is why we brought him in. The target man, Salvatore Mastronunzio. Fourth goal of the season. Thank you very much. What a signing. And here we go. Broxham finds the ball through. Bazanic, nice run. What does he do? Just gets it in before the byline. Mastronunzio. Nice tap in. There you go. 1 0. Western Sydney Wanderers 0. True Wissy on the free kick. It's deflected off the wall. Broxham is out wide. Ball in. Bazanic bangs it. Mastro Nunzio with his second. Surely that's a header. Surely. If that's a volley, that is insane. But that's 2 in 20 for Mastro Nunzio. Is he going to start ahead of Borussia next game? I don't know, but it is possible. Look at this. Broxham. Nice ball over. Bazanic header. Mastronzio header. It's 2 0 
20 minutes, we're killing them. We are killing them. And there's a highlight straight away. Can we defend this Donachy clearance to Master Anunzio, the target man? Here's Ingham on this right-hand side. Doesn't need to beat the man. He should have. Aristogueta is on the ball. Thomas, lovely save. Lovely. Another highlight. They are flooding in at the moment. Valeri intercepts Bazanic. Can he find the run of Ingham? He has Ingham ball in. Please, Master Anunzio. It's the hat trick. It's taken him 25 bloody minutes. But there you go. It's the hat trick. Salvatore Mastrolandio starts next game. Bessar Brescia. I'm sorry, but he scores three. Look at this. Ingham, great ball over. Mastrolandio slots at home. It's 3 0. It's not even half time. We're not even half an hour with through, boys. Come on. Here we go. Trio we see. Can we add a fourth? Ingham. Oh, it's off the bar. We've almost had four before half time. Ah, uh, Donicky was offside. Okay, it's 3 0 at the half time break. We're going to go passionately. You're doing well. Now, one thing I want to note here. Bazanic, two assists, 8.4 rating. And Ingham, the man who has come in on short notice, a 6.9 with an assist. We're doing well. Do we need to do better? I don't think so. As long as we hold out, we are fine. Okay, we're 70 minutes through. We're going to make a change. Mastronanzio scored three. We're going to bring him off. George Howard's going to come on. He is going to play the target man. Why not? And also, I'm thinking... Mitch Austin's going to come on for Bazanic, and Trewisi can go back into the center. We've got 20 minutes. Get Mitch Austin some game time, find that confidence, and maybe he will eventually break into the first team. Highlight, second half, here we go. It looks like it's going the way of Western Sydney. Can we intercept that? Aristogueta is on the ball. Lawrence Thomas has conceded at the near post. Unfortunate for him there. 77th minute, his 50th career goal. Aristogueta. But the thing we need to look at here is we've got 14 minutes to defend a two goal lead. Can we do it? I certainly hope so. 89 minutes on the clock. One last change. Carl Valeri off. Mahazi going to come on for him. What does Mahazi like to play? Advanced playmaker. No, you can play just a central midfielder on defend. I'm fine with that. Confirm that last change of the day. And it looks like we're going to come out 3 1 victors against Western Sydney Wanderers. They have a late chance here. Are they going to score? Are we going to concede? Soterio, straight over the bar. The referee is going to blow the final whistle. And there you go. It's a 3-1 win for Melbourne Victory. Why is the ref not blowing his whistle yet? Come on, referee. What, what are we still playing for? Mitch Austin. Oh, my God, we've scored again. It's 4-1. I'm writing it off saying that the game should be finished. It's 3-1. We've just won 4-1. Mitch Austin down this left-hand side. Great, great, lovely cross to the back post. And Jai Ingham finds himself on the score sheet. It's 4-1. 61% possession. That's one thing we need to look at. We've had 643 passes. We have passed the ball 200 more times than Western Sydney Wanderers. We're doing fantastic. We are doing bloody fantastic. I am very happy. That does put us into third. Everyone's played six games. Bar Central Coast, they can still overtake us. But they're the only team that can overtake us. So, yeah, unless Sydney FC win, they, they can't even do it. So, it looks like we're going to sit in third place for the end of the episode. Adelaide United still undefeated, 16 points. There's a seven-point gap. We'll catch them. Don't worry about that. Mastronunzio, three bloody goals. He's done well. He has done well. And I'll tell you what, we're going to praise him. Because that was incredible. Now, what are we looking at schedule-wise? I'll tell you what, we'll show you the, the competitions page here just quickly. Adelaide United leading the charge. We're catching, though. Two wins, three draws, and only one loss. All right, one loss. It wasn't the best start, but we are getting there. Now, the thing we need to look at is where do we meet? What is a good game for us? The next game against Adelaide is quite a while away. Could we do it? Maybe we bring you Central Coast. That's a bit closer. We go Central Coast and we go Newcastle. How's that? They're fifth and second. It's about mid-table, so that is where we're going to leave it. But that is it for today. If you've enjoyed the video, do not forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to see more of the Melbourne Victory Save. 
and hopefully I do catch you guys on another video.